it's been a few days and I thought it was time we do a little check-in on this project here is where we are at there he is Mr. Manny Bean so I got some handrails on here I used some some uh, this is the wire I used Hildy and Joe 26 gauge wire it's copper and it's very easy to make handrails of this stuff however it's so bendy that if you're doing something that's brand new it'll be hard because this wire bends really easy but if you're doing something like this it's perfect perfect it's too bent out of shape i just bend it back in shape and they're friction fit they're not even glued in here so that worked out good we got side handrails and a little front handrail okay there it is installed and that is a this here is a DZ123 check out my little PC board I made I've cut gaps on it and made strips here and there and spots everywhere so one I I um, isolated a spot on the this is PCB it's uh, this circuit board stuff okay so you can cut out gaps on it and then tin them with your soldering iron so that you have places to put contacts. It has a bridge rectifier. That is for the constant lighting. Let's get a close, close up on that. Because this thing only has two light functions and there are some lights that I want to put in here. And let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, now let's take a close look. I cut strips. Here's a little gap. Some gaps. So remember, here's our power from the frame. Goes up to a strip here. On this strip, we have the um, decoder's lead that picks up power from the red rail. I also have a lead from the bridge rectifier it will pick up power from the red rail. Same thing on the other side where I've got black rail and then I've got black rail going into the rectifier. Okay, then out the decoder, here's the motor lead right here and here is motor red or motor orange, motor gray. And then the motor's got a little piece of wire comes up through a hole that I drilled soldered onto the plate pretty clean I'd have to say this is way easier than it looks to make it clean like this really easy now so leftover wires are the blue which is the plus four lights the two lights each share the blue then we've got a white and a yellow and one of them is front one of them's rear in this case one's gonna be a headlight and I'm gonna use fiber optic strand and I'm going to run it and make a bulb on the end of it come out this headlight and then in here I will put the put an LED in a piece of heat shrink and I'll glue that up in here it'll come down one of these functions and the other function will be a beacon like we've done so many times okay that takes care of that wire and then the bridge rectifier I'm gonna put an interior purple UV light inside here so the um, grill will glow it's kind of a purple glow and then I got this other I'm gonna put a cab light and then I made something over here that is on the back of the cab right where that oval shape is at the top there's usually a little light bar kind of thing I said wouldn't it be cool if I could use some of them tiny surface mount LEDs and I tried the hard way of wiring them individually it was really hard and I wrecked a bunch of them and it turned out they didn't work so then I thought well what if I cut a tiny strip a PCB cut some gaps in it and then laid them on here and touched it with a soldering iron and sure enough they went right into place all you gotta do is get them lined up the same way this is going to be on constant light, so it will always be on. 
And with four of them, right now, that's 8 volts. Now, as you know, my track voltage is 18 volts. So I'm going to turn up the power here. And the other thing is, on the inside of the cab, there'll be one more of these for a cab light. And there is 18 and a half volts. Now, the camera doesn't see it as bright as I see it. But it looks pretty cool. That's going to be great. That is going to be really, really a sweet effect. And that's it. That's, that's what we got. And then, oh yeah, I know what you want to see. You want to see one more thing. You want to see it run it. Okay, let's let's check him out then. Got him dialed in. He's ten ten mini bean. If we could focus on that. Come on now. Are you gonna focus on this or what? You know, you'll see it. Let's check him. Okay. Let's go ahead, go forward. No, let's go backwards. There he goes. In DCC. What do you think of that? Look at that, so smooth, it's great. And then we are not gonna worry about, we're not gonna worry about the fact that these are Bachman Easy Make couplers because they're insulated. I sprayed them with the Zep Graphite, polished them up a little bit. They look great. They're plastic, so I didn't need to mill out a pocket I think milling out our pocket in this is a bunch of unnecessary work because all I need is a, is one of these easy make couplers and they work fine with KDs especially if they've been graphited they work excellent and this thing doesn't have the ability to pull anything that would break off a knuckle so we are ready to roll now I'm just gonna hook up these lights and then we're gonna go try it over on the layout 